like we've made it here after the storm. I passed the first dino without uh, much trouble. Uh, I've spent most of the time, I think, explaining the new unit types and why the changes and between the unit types and stuff like that. But yeah, time for a more difficult scenario. I say more difficult, but it's certainly not difficult. And high Descara Shadow. First of all, I just gotta check something on my Twitch. If I changed a couple of things, like I actually think I may have forgotten to add. Yep, uh, the spider soul is for this Karachado in in invasion from the unknown. Spider. Okay, at least I managed to add that. And then, of course, for this uh, uh, for this campaign after the storm episode one, you can name your units for this one as well. That's all. That's possible. Let's start with the story. I had not seen the high snowy peaks of the Hard Mountains in a long time. When last we traveled through them, it was with one of Uria's full henchmen, Hard Perset. Malhikuba, power, powerful undead sorcerer of the Iron Triad, one of those that counted themselves the leaders of Uria's cult and earlier, and the chaos of Para in Agen's absence. Even then, somehow his power seemed greater than Mal and Kasher's own. It would be highly unfortunate for us to come across him now. Of all times, as our own necromancer seems to have been debilitated by the ordeal at the Empire's capital. Like, for example, channeling the Union, being destroyed, getting revived, stuff like that. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Um, episode 1, Fear, Scenario 2, High Pass. This place gives me the chills. Perhaps this path was not a good choice after all. <laughs> Leave your worries behind, there's nothing to... <laughs> yeah, that was not very fear inspiring, but that's the best I can do. And who called up on you? So this is... So it is as... Oh, whoops, I'm... No idea what was written there, so let's get back. Let's restart the scenario. Uh, skip up to there and then read again. Just pretend nothing happened. So it is as the townsfolk warned us. This path is infested with undead. We'll have to give them a final rest before we can pro proceed any further. Aw, oh, this will be boring. I pass defeat all enemy leaders as usual, those three are not allowed to die, there's an early finish bonus and 40% of gold carried over. So first of all, die. As usual we've got fairies and we have a lot of them. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm gonna recall those two who got quite an amount of XP, but not the other three because their trade's really not useful for me. So, just nah. So, this is mine. Not gonna share this one. Ah, nice to see you, Tikari. <laughs> um, Uber Fairy. Because there's some special thing I've got planned for this one. What my aim is right now. She doesn't get a kill there, she just uh, takes the village. So all the other guys around again can get healed instantly. Uh, cured to be precise. 
And if she gets poisoned, she can just heal with the village. So no one actually suffers from poison. Like, beyond not getting in it. Get, getting healed. So I remember last time I streamed, there were at least two people who wanted a fairy to be named after them, but I actually have no idea which one of you it was. So they will have to say something. Like, they, they I think they came just uh, in very late, so there was no way to uh, rename units at that point. Right, I, I was in the after scenario screen and explaining stuff. Sure. So yeah, last scenario we had skeletons, skeleton arches, sprites and walking corpses. But Malkesha has recovered a little bit so he can recruit ghosts again. Once more. Uh, and the Dark Adepts just we walked through a village. We showed them how powerful Unnet is in theory. Like, I actually just used sprites and so we've got new recruits. But sprites, what a win. Just so you can keep healing. Okay, Inky wants to be a fairy. We have resilient quick, quick, resilient, intelligent, resilient, um, quick, intelligent. Technically, we should have at some point also, also intelligent, resilient, like there are only three possible traits and they have to have two of them and the order of it can be different but it still doesn't give you too many different choices resilient quick okay if you think that's good that's your call um like i don't think so but this is yours now inky there you go and you obviously see there's a couple of undead. Who cares? Let's destroy them. He obviously is not healed yet, but I'm gonna meet move the um with the others because uh, I've got a healer over there. So he can still get healed. So I can avoid an upkeep of eleven gold. Yeah, easily. So next turn I can recruit one more sprite and then I'm done gold-wise. See, I've got 31 left. I don't have a space in my keep left, so I can keep recruiting. But with a negative upkeep of 8, I will end up 23 uh, gold pieces, which is enough to recruit exactly one more fairy and have some change left over. All die. She also needs a lot of XP. Alright, oh, I actually should have given Diff's one a kill there. Whoops. So, yeah, this one can reach, so I'm not gonna place a fairy over there. Especially not with um, the walking cops being able to reach. Oh, you, Gallus! You have born into us in the valley. You left us all to die! Niarian? But do you know him? Yes, he was the leader of the patrol group that replaced mine just before the loyalists invaded our valley. Like, throwback to scenario 1 or 2 of Invasion from the Unknown, the first scenario we threw back to a group of Chaos Empire people, then uh, we had so many losses that we had to retreat and get replaced by another patrol group. Nyadians, who's bearing our way just now. Elf, know that Gallus did not have the power to stop that invasion, but the Chaos Empire no longer has a leader. There is nothing that should force you to roam this world anymore. I will personally make sure you don't go unpunished, traitor! It is a waste of time to try to deal with this pile of bones. The necromancer who raised him probably used some melon spell to infect his soul with hatred towards every 
every elf who outlived him. Makes sense. Just... This place... There. Okay. Good to go. So this one isn't as important to me, so I'm willing to risk it. Also, how much? Snap. It's not good. Okay, maybe if she dies, she dies. I meant to move her over there and she would be pretty safe uh, from getting killed because he can only deal 24 damage at the time of day, at this time of day. So she would survive even if it's all done. Yeah, now she's a bit, quite a bit more exposed. So no guarantees on her surviving. It's not Inky, right? Oh, it is Inky. Whoops. But hey, Inky seems to be lucky. Somewhat. Lucky enough, apparently. Good job. And sorry for almost killing you. It, it, it really was an accident, I promise. So first of all, free XP. Also, place. Give her some healer stuff. Like, he's perfect uh, for this. I go. He won't kill anyone in retaliation, and he won't die. Exactly what I want for. Like, I don't want him to be stealing any XP, but I don't uh, want to lose a unit just for taking that villages either. It's a perfect kind of compromise. First of all, die. Or alternatively, burn. Preferably both. But yeah, you can't have everything. Just gonna play it safer there. Like, um. This Cacharado. Uh, you said you're waiting for your unit. Uh, do you mean walking corpse spider soulless again? But I'm, because I'm honestly not sure if we are gonna meet any of those in this campaign. Like, okay, we will we meet, but it's gonna be more than five scenarios, I think. At least. So yeah, daytime is obviously perfect to just roast them. Oh, for a unit that you like. Okay. Um. Then I just hope some one, uh, one unit of that kind will come along at some point. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, none of them are really that great. So I really want to stop that one from healing because, well, healing sucks. Like, makes all your hard work go to waste. I don't like that. Yeah, not to fail, but die. Like always. Like, yeah, especially against undead, berries are the best. As evidenced right now. I mean, of course, in later scenarios you will have a lot, like a lot, of uh, underground scenarios where they don't rock quite as much, but they do still rock a lot. So that's good enough for me. Die. Then. Die as well. Ooh. Um, again, he can just tank the hell out of them. I could probably get a kill on her, with her, but I want to keep this one safe. By slowing this one, I reduce the damage that can be dealt to her. Um, like, 
it wouldn't be much anyway because it's daytime. But better safe than sorry. Like technically, it could also crunch the numbers. Uh, but honestly, I'm pretty sure. If even if I did, I would just figure out there is a chance of her dying, and I don't want that. Honestly, if you're fearsome steed, you should be more than able to reach your destination without us, Igor. You're kidding, right? There's no way we'd be able to get past all these, all the smelly skeletons alone. I don't want to become one of them zombies while I'm still young. <laughs> I could arrange for you to become a more dignified skeleton warrior. If you prefer. Ah, no! Will you please stop tormenting him, Alan? Fine. Someone needs a sense of humor. The ears aren't just for show, you know. We can hear you. Which is, if you're not thinking of that, also a jab at Malkesh and not having any ears anymore. Because he's a skeleton. Just something to think about. Burn. Like, yeah, I'm gonna say burn a lot. Because that's pretty much all I ever do. Ouch. That was hurtful. Then, first of all, where? There's Inky over there. Inky gets a kill. There's, uh. Intelligent, resilient one. Perfect. Another one even. Even more perfect. Very perfect. Damn. This dude is scary. So let's bar him from attacking. Twelve times four is a lot and I don't wanna take that. So remember, uh, right now I am recruiting a lot of fairies, but I really only want those uh, that are somewhat tanky. Like those two that have 24 HP at most. Just no. I, I can make use of them, but I certainly do not prefer having them. Vinyas over there. Healer can't be used to heal right now, so I'm aiming for rest heal on a couple of them. Track, um, if I move anyone over there, they just get attacked by this dude, by Nyarian, and it hurts too much. Yeah, anyway, um, this enemy is pretty much beaten by now. Like, there is coming in a trickle of enemy units, one by one, but nothing threatening anymore. Especially since I have so many units around, which that can just crush them. And this one, I'm just gonna finish off off in a moment. And not a fire fairy. Damn. This shows me that I obviously got, should get another s a snare strikes. Because otherwise, huh, stuff like this happens and I don't get a kill. I don't get a slow one. Really need one. Damn. This one is fragile as f well, very fragile. And I'm absolutely willing to just let it one die. There are useful ones. But it's certainly not this one. Then who needs a kill? Who? 30 H. This one. Okay. Then this was not smart because now Negarin can reach. And I'm just gonna hope that this is the kind of. What's it called? Uh, yeah, enemy leader that does not move from his keep. 
otherwise I've kind of messed up just now. So whether this one needs a heal and Inky of course as well. Also move my units up to there so I can grab villages real fast. I've got neutralized. Okay, amazing that this one survived, that's great. Um, I don't really care though. Shame. Okay, there are apparently a couple of walking corpses over there. Then... So he would take the kill easily, but I just want to damage this one and give the kill to someone else. I actually shouldn't have wasted time on trying to slow him, because this is the turn where I finish him off. I would have liked to do so in the previous turn, but back then I did, have, I did not have enough units close enough to do so. Rest in peace, Niharian. And, well, thanks for dying instead of Gallus back then in the village. Not like it was a choice of anyone involved. Burn. Come on, better. Then this is again someone I'm willing to sacrifice, especially if it keeps Gala safe. Um. Mm. Yeah, this one too. Like, works for me. Oh, this was. Worse than expected, actually. Like, I totally forgot about the death blade. But at the end of the day, whatever. So, let's just check out the map a bit more. Can, uh, can I move there? It's obviously mean, meant to be um, locked away with this insurmountable mountains. I just want to see how far I could go. So yeah, this is... Oh, snap. I hate this. I've got Igor, so I'm fine. Then this one should get a kill. So yeah, you basically see me selecting for desirable traits in real time. Not exactly breeding, but honestly it's pretty, pretty close to that. very first just so I have my level 3 unit in place. I'm um, having a fourth spirit to compare to having none is a huge game changer because now I have actually a unit that can tank except my heroes and uh, beyond my heroes. Um, which yeah it's just extremely helpful. I'm not gonna take anyone over there because, well, I'll bait a couple of them because, um, well, it's just those guys. 
it's night time so they can still hit pretty hard even though they seem very much harmless radar stalling for a little bit longer and just swoop in later on and destroy them especially because the night time is almost over and the, the, the two days uh, separated by the short deck is all that's left in the center first of all where are my weak ones this one this one's job is just gonna be softening up the target so I can finish it off at ease uh, oh there's the second one perfect This one. Actually, where's Inky? There you are. Kinda hard, kinda easy to strike off where my units are, especially in a scenario like this where I have a lot of them. This. Later on, I won't have as much gold available, because this is basically some sort of army building scenario yeah, and so later on oh snap I skipped the text later on I will only have those available I can I want to use anyway so do the whole thing luckily not too much trouble And even if I do not uh, get it exactly right, this is one of those scenarios where it, it, one of those turns where it really doesn't matter. Oh, this one. And this one. But also this one. Nope, not close enough for pen. Okay, only 29 HP units left. That's also okay. They are second place, but... Well... Still better than those 24 hit points. Ah, the traitors! Never again will you see the sunlight, for I shall feed your impure souls to Yechnagov. The same old tune. These goons should seek a new job or something. Like, especially because this guy is saying this at first dawn. So in the next turn, I am gonna see the sun again. Well. Make it, oh snap! Kind of makes it awkward for him to say those things when it gets debunked in the very next turn. I'm just gonna weak this, weaken this one instead of killing it because I want Gallus to have some XP. Basically, force fed, but whatever. Then where are you, Inky? I want to give you this kill. Burn. Perfect. Then this one. Like for example, I in uh, Uber Fairy can tank Malzifan. Well, all my sprites are basically helpless against him. I I'm not gonna move them close to him. That's so I sort of have to wait for Malkesha to get close so he can take him down. While everyone else just waits around and, well, doesn't do much. Like a platypus, they also do, don't do much. Actually, let's just 
move them away so I don't accidentally subject them. At this point, I really don't need a huge army to destroy them. And I can go with the units that need it the most. Oh, which I'm gonna use later on anyway. Snap! No thanks. Yeah, that's, that's what I mean with um, them not being able to tank. Should have been more careful, I wasn't. And boom, a unit died. That's a. This one. Then this one has to die. Inky was over there. Okay. There. This one as well. This one away. This one just gonna scout around a bit. Okay, and I can over there. Because he can't reach a she. I don't know enough about bones to decide what kind of jet if this is a male or female corpse. Gallus. There we go. This is, of course, pretty useful. But I'm gonna go for the strength form because I can unlock Fury. Now, uh, after I'm gonna get this one, then I can get Fury with Berserk. Yeah, right. Um, and with Berserk, it's gonna be far here to give him kills whenever I want. Of course I will also have to pay attention not to accidentally get him killed. Yet it is a pretty serious issue. Uh, but on the other hand it as I said much easier to give him kill. Uh, making it also far easier to give him XP. Which is the this my point of view. I can't send help over. Too fragile. Take this village. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna finish him off. Why not? I can do so. Doing intelligent. Mm, yeah, no. A bit too fragile. It's actually inky. Oh yeah, this is inky. No. Not gonna let her die like that. Save it. I am vanquished, but I curse your race to never see a day of peace or joy again for the rest of eternity. So many times. I forgot how many times they have said that. Fair point. So yeah, it's actually a lot of bonus gold. Nice. 14 per turn. Alright, oh, I totally forgot about this one. Whatever. So, I'm gonna take like... Break of 10 minutes. And then just continue on with the next scenario, which it's really gonna be the last one for the day. Here. See you in a couple of minutes.